Today on the show, we're taking a look at the Pop Heroes Batman the Animated Series, number 198. This is Phantasm. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking a look at the Pop Heroes Batman the Animated Series, number 198, Phantasm. Uh, this should actually say Batman the Animated Movie Mask of the Phantasm. Because Phantasm didn't actually appear in the animated series. Uh, didn't make the, her television debut until Batman Beyond several years later. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at the box. Alright, so I said she didn't make her television debut until Mask of the... F or until Batman Beyond. I was actually wrong. It was a Batman Beyond episode of Justice League Unlimited. I believe it was the final episode of Justice League Unlimited. I could be wrong. Uh, but she made the appearance as the would-be assassin who was supposed to kill Terry McGinnis's parents. But she couldn't do it. So, uh, I guess Amanda Waller had hired her to do so in order to create a new Batman, but she couldn't do it. So anyway, I digress. That's neither here nor there. I found this at Mega Replay. Uh, very nice, nice box, nice crisp, uh, no issues with the box. Go ahead and open it up. Take a look at the Phantasm. First things first. Phantasm does come with the clips on her sh sh uh, clamshell. So they do snap. Which is nice. I like the clips. Uh... That one's kind of dented, so it's not wanting to go in. Uh, also, as with most DC Pops, it came with a Legion of Collectors postcard. So anyway, put that to the side. Let's take a look at the Phantasm. Not much going on with Phantasm, but I always liked the character. Uh, even before I saw the movie. Just the the design of the Phantasm looks really, really cool. Uh, she could... They should bring her into the main DC Universe. And maybe even give her her, her own title as kind of an anti-hero. Kind of like more, uh, DC's version of the Punisher. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Uh, very nice. I always kind of liked her uh, Reaper style hand there. Very nice. Um, the paint, not much can really be said about the paint because it's just mainly two colors. Two primary colors, pretty much. Gray and black. Uh, there is a different shade of gray here for the mask. And then you got white for the eyes, and then silver for the Reaper. Uh, I do like how they did a darker gray to outline the mask. And she doesn't have the normal solid white eyes, uh, kind of slanted here. But very nice. Her head does turn all the way around. A kind of sloppy paint job. As you get some paint bleeding on the cowl or the um, bottom portion of the hood, 
where it meets the rest of the costume. But overall, not bad. You got a darker paint job on the inside of the cape as well. Uh, and the cape can kind of move, but I wouldn't want to move it, try to move it too much. Uh, because then you'd risk breaking it. But overall, not a bad pop. Uh, I really like it. Uh, however, like I said, the box is deceiving. Uh, she didn't appear in Batman the Animated Series. Not once. Uh, she only ever appeared in Batman the Animated Movie Mask of the Phantasm and that one episode of Justice League Unlimited. But that's just nitpicking. I wanted to give you guys some extra Funko Pop videos this month in celebration of Halloween. I do believe that Mask of the Phantasm came out around Halloween. Way back in the 90s. So what better than a Mask of the Phantasm Funko Pop in the month of October? I hope you guys have a happy and safe Halloween. Make sure and visit plenty of haunted houses. Maybe go through a few mazes. Get you plenty of candy. Stay safe. And please, for the love of God, don't egg or toilet paper anyone's houses. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Take care, my friends. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, you can check out one of these two playlists right here on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched.